Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another new video. This video is going to be very interesting because in this video we're going to talk about aperture. We're going to learn what is aperture, what it does and how we can use it in photography. Alright, so let's understand what is aperture. So aperture is like, uh, like an opening in the lens uh, through which the light passes and go to the image sensor. Now there are basically two types of aperture, one is wide and one is smaller aperture. Wide aperture like 2.8 and smaller aperture like uh, f10 or f11 and so on. So what is the difference between these two? So when you will be using a wide aperture, so when you will be using a wide aperture like 2.8, you are actually allowing more light to get into the lens. And when you are using a smaller aperture like f10, the opposite will happen and less light will, is going to get into the lens. So that's basically what aperture is, you know, it, it's a way how you control the amount of light, uh, you know, reaching the image sensor. So if it's all, so that's what basically aperture is. You know, in a simple way, you can just remember this, that aperture is like an opening in the lens, which can be adjusted to control the amount of light reaching the image sensor, that's it. And uh, the more you will practice, the more you will know about it. Okay, so now let's talk about what it does, what aperture actually does and how we can use it. So I think you have heard about the numbers like f2, f2.8, you know, f4, f10 and so on. So what these numbers actually means. So suppose if you are taking a photo with an aperture of 2.8, you will have more light into the, you, you will allow more light to get into the camera and you will also get a shallow depth of field. Now a shadow depth of field is something what we see mostly in portrait photography where you see that only the subject stays in focus and the rest of the background is absolutely blurry. That's what a shallow depth of field is. And when you're taking a photo of landscapes, when you when, where you want everything to be in focus or taking a group photo, there you will use a smaller aperture like f8 or f10. So what happens is you will have less light well, you will have everything in focus and most of the things will be in focus but you also have to adjust the shutter speed to get a proper exposed image you know to uh, balance the exposure and uh, we'll talk about shutter speed in the upcoming video so stay tuned all right so that's what basically aperture is uh, you know the wider the aperture the more light will get in and you will get a shallow depth of field effect and uh, you know smaller the aperture the less light will get in the lens and you will have more things in focus that's uh, that's it it's, it's not really complicated if you understand it and if you practice it so uh, you know uh, you should definitely practice and you will know more about this and you will become more easy. now there are situations where to another situation when you you know need to know which aperture to use suppose if you're taking a portrait uh, you will definitely use a wider aperture like f1.8 or f2 to get you know to get the the best portrait the background will be blurry and you will have the subject in focus or while taking a photo in low light conditions like mostly nights when suppose if you're taking the night sky or you know uh, something like that there you will use a wider aperture to get most of the available lights in that place so you can have a properly exposed, uh, properly you know uh, lit up image. And uh, when you're taking a landscape photo, or suppose when you're in an event taking a group photo of your friends, you know, there you will use a smaller aperture like f8 or f11, like that. So everything will be in focus, and then you can also adjust the shutter speed to you know uh, balance the exposure, like I said previously. And there's one more thing, I think you have often seen that uh, there are photos like the sun star, you know, uh, those looks very creative, very you know, amazing and you can actually take them and you can actually take uh, those kind of photos with a smaller aperture. So set the aperture at like f20 or f22 and you know focus the sun, focus on the sun and take the photo and you can actually have a photo like that you know uh, you will actually have a photo of sun star so that's very creative you can definitely try that and uh, don't worry about like don't worry about the mistakes uh, do the mistakes that's how you will learn how to you know uh, do it properly so practice so now you know where to use which aperture uh, wider or smaller depending on the situations you are in so experiment with that and practice 
all right so that's all in this video i hope i was able to explain everything properly to you guys uh, but if you have any questions any doubt or if there is anything you want to say you can definitely write them down in the comment section below i will definitely look into it and uh, if you enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed the video then drop a like and consider subscribing to get more videos like this and i will see you guys in the next where we will talk about shutter speed and more interesting stuff come on thanks thanks for watching See you guys in the next